Oh, that's a nice one. All right, guys, what's up? Uh, Wes with fresh salt fishing here in time. A pattern of mine, but um, a pattern that I've been throwing recently. The tie, it's only a few materials. So we'll take you through it here today. We got to SL11, uh, three times strong, tin plated. Gonna be throwing the three times stronger because I don't like to use a big hook. I want this bait fish pattern to be small, so I use a, a size two but I need it to be strong because you're throwing small flies at big fish. So I'm gonna score up, this is 40 pound uh, mono. I'm gonna score up one end of it with a pair of dull scissors. And tie it in on the very back here. This is your foul guard. So I get that nice and tight. And then I'm gonna measure how far I want it. I'm gonna say uh, about the, the gap of the hook off the back. The next thing I'm going to use is this white extra select marabou. A hook, maybe a hook, two hook lengths off the back. A bit shorter and thicker, not as long. Little portion, kind of measure this fly out. We want it to be shorter, about half the length of this. So we're gonna get the, these are, I think these are grizzly saddle hackle. Find you two feathers that are Good looking and relatively the same size and shape. Your grizzly saddle hackle. You're gonna tie it on so that it curves outward, away from the fly. Measure it, get your measurement, and strip away all the rest of this feather so that there's a gap right there. And that gap is gonna make it a lot better to tie onto. Same with this feather. I think for me I need flash in. I'm gonna take pink because I think it gives it a little bit more of an iridescence. All right, now I'm gonna take a little super glue on my line. On my thread here, just a dot or two. The most vulnerable point on the fly is this, this spot. So, I like to put some glue here on the thread and that just makes sure nothing spins or pulls out, anything like that. I'm gonna clean up and finish the head here. That is this craft fur brush or EP brush. I'm gonna start working this brush. I'm gonna start pulling all the fibers back in the direction that I want them to lay. On the wire, I'll create a little thread head here. And then I'm gonna would finish the fly and start trimming. And I'm just gonna make very minute cuts. The tail will continue to move as the fly stops, so it's a very, very good fly. 